Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're really excited to be able to have our concert choir and concert band perform to you tonight. And it's been a crazy two weeks, and it's been touch and go. And when we got back from the break, I just told the students that we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple days or day to day. So we just said we're going to practice and prepare like we're going to have our performance on the 13th. Here we are. We made it. We've had minimal concert, you know, impact in concert choir and concert band, thankfully. Um, so uh, we're excited to perform this. I know to try to reschedule or postpone uh, also creates a whole new set of issues, and we didn't do that. My apologies. I forgot to print the program tonight. <laughs> so that's where my brain is at as we prepare to have our first uh, high school or school-sponsored uh, music performance in this space in almost two years. Uh, it's, uh, so we're really excited to present this for you. You know, the students have really worked hard. We had, you know, you've heard a lot about learning loss and gaps in learning, and that really is true for our music program as well, especially for students coming in as ninth graders. The, the way our music program is structured uh, in the middle school last year during hybrid learning really didn't allow for playing in band and chorus. So a lot of these students, this is their first performance. And for other students who have done this, this might be their first performance, like I said, in well over a year. And even though we did a high school performance last year, we taped it for broadcast during the school day on stage, but that was when we had our 10 foot distancing rules and everything else, so our band was like from all the way back into the floor and we were spread out so far and it just really didn't, it's not certainly not an optimal, optimal you know, performance experience. So we're so thrilled to be back. I apologize, I'll call the numbers as we see that. I'll send out a PDF of the program in an email if you're, so, if you're a program saver. Um, so welcome, we're gonna start with our concert choir. Um, and the first song we're gonna sing is in the style of a gospel tune called When the Kingdom Comes. forget a lot of things. I'm sure tonight I'd just like to recognize and introduce our accompanist for tonight, Ms. Yara Saitis. And we're lucky enough to have uh, Molly McLaughlin accompany us on this next tune. This is uh, Gloria Cannon uh, by the composer Haydn. And Molly is a self-taught flute player. She just started teaching herself the flute in September. And she's just taught herself leaps and bounds. She's had some great coaching from Mrs. Egan um, and some of their, uh, our other flute players in the class. So thank you, Molly. And this is Gloria Cannon.
Thank you. This next song is called Kubuna Wangi Ki. It is uh, translated to a water song, and this is a Kenyan song about the benefits of the rain and the benefits to the land. Uh, so this is Kubuna Wangi Ki. student teacher uh, for the first part of the school year and uh, for the chorus classes at both the middle school and the high school, who since uh, completed her work and uh, is going to be graduating and is already working as a substitute in another building right now, so she couldn't join us tonight, uh, but she uh, turned us on to this song called Give Us Hope, and it certainly was a, time, a timely number, um, and this was really um, from a collective uh, of songs, uh, Sounds of a Better World, and I think with everything we've gone through, I think we could all use a little hope. Uh, please listen carefully to the words, and I hope you enjoy this next two.
here like mouthing the words for them like they can see. <laughs> doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you. Um, this last tune is a Russian folk tune. It is called Sleigh Bells. Uh, I just want to clarify the reason we're doing a winter concert for two reasons. Um, the, the first reason was um, our musical Alp was in December and the stage was just packed with all sorts of stuff. Um, and it just would have been a really uh, crazy time to try and pack all that into those busy weeks before the holidays and before the break. That was the first reason. But the more important reason was that when we came back in September, it's been a goal of us, ours in the music program to make sure that we sort of reconnected with music making and that because the students hadn't sung and played in many instances for a long period of time, we just wanted to focus on reconnecting with basic skills, what it means to sing and play together as a group, and those were really our priority areas. And so we sort of eased back into the year and we felt the pressure of a December deadline just was too much to sort of, uh, to sort of work at. We didn't anticipate the surge being what it was gonna be, uh, but here we are anyway. Um, our final selection for concert choir is called Sleigh Bells. Words, 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 right? <laughs> So we're gonna now do our have our concert band perform. I just wanna yeah, woo, that's right. Really nice to have 
again, be back on stage. Um, just while I'm thinking of it, um, we are, if you recall, before pre-pandemic in the May of 2019, I guess, um, we did an arts festival day in May in which the uh, art department had a company come out and for students in all grades, I believe, um, had framed, picked a piece of art that students created in class. They framed it and then families could come and enjoy all the work in the uh, hallways and in both cafeterias and all these things. So we're doing that again this year. Uh, and in May, we're hoping that A, surge will be over and sort of like back in the fall, things will be a little bit more normal. We'll be able to function a little bit more freely than we are right now. So put that on your calendar. We're also gonna try and incorporate some more of our middle school and elementary performances into that day as well. So that it really represents art throughout the entire district. So mark your calendars May 18th and uh, we'll go from there. Um, our first selection is called Invincible. Just play a concert piece flat, just a tuning note, just to get those lips going and get the air flowing again, nice deep breath. Yeah. Um. Us a break for a second. Uh, we're going to do a couple seasonal car car uh, carols. Uh, we'll start with Joy to the World, Silent Night, and then Deck the Halls. This will feature our wind and brass and mallet players.
percussionist back. This next one is called Calypso Carnival. And Latin percussion and all that stuff. I want to, before I forget, because I forgot to print program, I'll forget other things. I just need to thank a couple people. Um, listen, like I said, it's been a rebuilding year, and our, the district's been very supportive, and we've been fortunate to be able to bring in music teachers who typically would just work with our elementary, uh, our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders in the past. Uh, but this year, we've been able to get them in and working with our seventh and eighth grade students just to, again, get them back to playing and get them back to basics. And we've been able to be uh, have the benefit of them working with our high school students as well this year. So I want to thank the district for supporting that. And so I need to thank um, Mr. Blanchett, who's been helping on Mondays and with our percussion section, Mr. Blanchett. Um, Mrs. Egan. And you might recognize a familiar face, Miss Harrington. And uh, also, so I don't forget, I'd like to thank Abby's and Cam, Kevin Tachi and his crew. Uh, with everything pivoting and moving to remote and all the changes that have happened, they've been super busy. Uh, so we appreciate that their efforts in coming out and taping this will be broadcast for when they're able to get it processed and done. And we'll go back online. So uh, when I have a link for that, I'll send that out as well. So this is Calypso Carnival. percussion switch around and get ready for the next one. We just have a few more selections for you. Short but sweet, we know, but again, it was so important that we got reconnected with live music making and having an audience and just getting back into that. So we really appreciate you being here tonight. Our next selection is called Above and Beyond.
Again, short and sweet program, we know. Um, stay safe, stay well, and we are going to finish this out with the Polar Express. Again, thanks to all our student performers, our faculty, our staff, and again, our audience. So thank you so much, enjoy Polar Express.